Welcome into another playoff edition of Football Friday Night. If your team is still playing football in December, you did something right. So let's begin tonight's festivities in the 4A, where Shiloh Christian was looking to advance to next week's semifinal game as they welcomed the Dumas Bobcats to Champions Field. Dumas wasn't going to go down without a fight. First drive of the game, Kylan James takes the pitch. A little bob and weave. He's the Bobcats set up nicely. Later in the drive, third and goal, and the quarterback, Kenyon Jones, calls his own number. He's off to the races. No Saints can catch him. He's pumped. He has good reason to be. 6-0 Bobcats. But on the next drive, the Saints came marching down. Eli Wisdom, looking for somewhere to run, reverses the entire field, helps out the O-line, and sets up shop for Shiloh deep into Bobcat territory. Later in the drive, they strike. Ben Baker takes the handoff, heads to his left, finds nothing but daylight. The junior takes it all the way down the sideline, in for the score. After the PAT, the Saints has their first lead of the night. But the story for this Shiloh team in the first was the defense. The senior Drew Dudley coming up to us with the fourth down interception. And on the next Dumas drive, the Bobcats go for it on fourth and inches. And the Saints leave absolutely nothing. The defensive line swarms to the fourth down stop. The Saints took a 17 to 16 into halftime. And they would keep the good times. Shiloh, they're going to take this one handily. So now the question for the Saints is, who will get they get to host in next Friday's semifinal game? Big win for Shiloh Christian, 31-12. to Like I said, they're headed on to next week's semifinal game. So who are they going to be playing? The answer is Stuttgart or Ozark. They were battling it out in the 4A early on. Ozark. They're going for it on fourth down. Harper Falkenberry gets the carry. He's going to be close. Ricebird say no, but the refs, they take a look, and they say yes. First down, Ozark. They look to put some points on the board. Next play, Falkenberry says, I might as well finish this one myself. Right up the gut for the seven-yard score, and the Hillbillies had a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, same score, but here come the Ricebirds. I love that name. They find some running room and set up in the red zone. Later in the drive, they get some points. Arlie Lee gets the pass. Reservations for six, but a Miss PAT still had Ozark up a point. Final minutes of the first half. They're looking for more big hillbillies first down in the red zone. Second and goal. Falkenberry wants his second of the night once again. Right up the middle. Deja vu in Ozark had a 14-6 lead heading into halftime. But the Rice Birds would have a strong second half and end the hillbilly season. Nothing for Ozark to hang their heads on after a great season that saw them go to the state semifinals. And we're just getting started here on Football Friday Night. 4A down, 3A to go. Stick with us as Tyler, he's gonna break down Boonville and Paris as they look to continue their playoff journey. More quarterfinal action going down tonight in the 3A. We had the last two defending state champs from that level going at it as Boonville makes the trek to take on Harding Academy. Boonville, of course, won two years ago. Harding last season will pick things up. Randon Ray for the Bearcats takes it in. At this point, though, Boonville already trailing eh, pretty darn significantly. It would only get worse from there. Wildcats go deep. Caden Sipe, he's got his man, Ty Duggar into the end zone for six, a 58-yard touchdown for the Wildcats. And there's more. Bubble screens never work unless you got blocking. This one did one of the rare ones. That's Carter Neal. He rumbles down the sideline into the painted area for six. Boonville falls to Harding 52 to 21. And the Bearcats first season post Scott Hyatt under Doc Crowley comes to an end in the quarterfinals. Once again, Boonville down 52 to 21 to Harding. The surprise story of the year in the 3A, the Paris Eagles putting it all on the line in the quarterfinals, making the trek to Hoxie. 11-0 versus 11-1. 11-0 would strike first. Second play of the game, Shandarek Powell. He goes 39 yards, 6-0 Hoxie at this point. Paris, though, Keller Keen takes it into the end zone. 7-6 Eagles. Eagles fans might want to turn off for TVs right about now. It's just going to go downhill. Dalen Powell, read option. He 
he chooses the option that uh, gets him six points into the end zone for one of three Powells on this Hoxie team. 12-7 Hoxie. Chase Watts launching one deep into the end zone. Oh, wrong team comes down with it. Hoxie takes over and two plays after that. Dalen Powell once again. North Alabama commit there. Gets free. He's gone to the house for six. 20-7 at that point. 65-35 to 35 is how this one would end a shootout. And Paris sees their magical season come to an end in the quarterfinals. But watch out for the Eagles. They've proven that they are here to stay. And that's it for another year of football Friday night. Greenwood tomorrow. Shiloh next Friday. Check out 5newsonline.com for the highlights.